first trimester. It's not my favorite time, I'm not gonna lie. Nausea. Whoa, I did not know it could be so bad. In terms of energy, oh, so tired all the time. And it's hard too, because I feel like during the last few months, like daddy's become the favorite, which is like totally fine because I want him to be like, Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video yet again. It is so weird to say, even just like out in public when people ask like, oh, is this your first pregnancy? I'm like, no, it's my second. It is so surreal to say that I, like, I already have a child and this is my second pregnancy. I don't know, it's just very weird because I just feel like deja vu, but I kind of have some experience, you know? I'm sure every parent feels like this, but just because you already have a child does not make you an expert and you kind of feel like you're learning everything again for the first time. Here we are, first trimester recap. I am officially, I'm already in my second trimester when I'm filming this. I am currently 16 weeks pregnant as of today. Baby is the size of an avocado. How fitting is that for this video? It's been going so fast. Like it's true what they say, once you have kids, like I feel like the other pregnancies just fly by. I also had Sage in a really like weird, slow period in the world. 2020, got pregnant and had her, became parents all in that year. And I feel like it just, time felt like it just stood still and everything was magnified and there was just a lot. It just felt very different. Even just like doctor visits and stuff like that felt very different. So it has been a very different experience. Some good, some bad. Um, so we're gonna get all into the nitty gritty, juicy, not so fun details of the first trimester. It's not my favorite time, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna keep this really real and I don't want it to be like a Debbie Downer. I just wanna just give a real perspective on what my experience has been like. We're gonna end off on a positive note. Um, as you can see, I'm feeling much better, but I just think not a lot of people talk about the first trimester enough. It's just a very interesting time. So if you're pregnant and you're in the first trimester right now, I'm just like sending you like big virtual hugs because it's tough and not everyone experiences a tough time, but if you do, which I feel like the majority of people do, just hang in there, you got this you will get through it. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen my other pregnancy content from my first pregnancy, I will have a playlist, a link here and down below. Um, you can check out like my first trimester uh, recap too. You can compare the two. I actually haven't watched it since being pregnant again. Let's just talk about the main ongoing theme that has been my life right now and it is nausea. You hear it all the time, like pregnancy nausea, morning sickness whoa i did not know it could be so bad like it just felt so consuming so overwhelming i i just didn't know i could feel that nauseous every single day it was kind of torturous i'm not gonna lie really down and depressing uh, i cried a lot started around i would say i think i wrote here i have a bunch of notes by the way if i keep looking off to the side i had to make some bullet points i would say it started around week seven and it's still here <laughs> so it's so much better now so much better but i know i hear from people they'll say like around 14 to 16 weeks it starts to fade off a bit today i'm 16 weeks and i feel like i'm having a good day it's definitely decreasing but whoa oh very different from when i was pregnant with sage i'm gonna be comparing the two a lot because i think it's interesting to to compare pregnancies each one is so different so when i was pregnant with sage i definitely was nauseous a lot of food aversions all that stuff like i was eating a lot of like soups and like toast and crackers and cheese and yogurt and all that stuff but i was still e able to eat food i just was like not interested and i felt nauseous i thought that was what pregnancy nausea was like uh-uh no 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 this was like Pregnancy nausea 4.0. It was next level. Um, not only was I nauseous, but I was actually throwing up this time. I think I threw up one time with Sage. That's all I really remember. This time, I can't even count. So many times. It was so hard to keep food down. It was so hard even thinking about food, opening the fridge. I couldn't even go to a grocery store, like just walking through the aisles and smelling all the different food smells. Like, no thank you. It was so intense like matt couldn't even diffuse oils i'd be like whoa that orange oil is too strong like i can't i don't want any sense i like i said couldn't even open the fridge i 
didn't cook anything. Matt has been keeping this household alive, like feeding all the girls, including Cashew. Just don't know how I would have done it without him. There was no way I could even like chop anything in the kitchen, like dealing with like raw ingredients. Mm -mm. The nausea was so extreme and I'm gonna talk about some things that I did that I don't even know if they like, it's not like they cured it or anything, but they maybe helped take the edge off. But I think most of it was just a waiting game and just pushing through and, and just waiting for my body to adjust and the symptoms to subside a bit. I was convinced I was having twins because of how sick I was. I've been told since that like the amount of babies doesn't really mean you're more sick, but we've confirmed there was just one baby in my belly. The hardest part was no, nothing seemed appetizing. Like when I was pregnant with Sage, there would be certain foods I would crave and I would just eat them again and again. With this pregnancy, like nothing would seem like something I would want to eat. One day I would crave something and the next day I was like, I don't ever want to see that food again. Foods that became my like safe foods that I, I could eat and stay down, I would then maybe get sick with them one day and then not want to eat them ever again. So my list of foods that I could eat was slowly getting like smaller and smaller. And like I would just dread every meal time because I just didn't want to think about food. But I was also really hungry. In terms of energy, oh, so tired all the time. Mind you, it is very, very different to be pregnant with a child already <laughs> existing in the world. Like having a toddler and being pregnant is so different than just being able to like do whatever you want when you're pregnant and don't have any kids yet. It's just, it's, it's just very different. When you're tired and you want to lay down and they have all this energy and they're like, they don't understand that what you're going through, it is the hardest thing. And mom guilt was so hard. Like I just, I get emotional thinking about it, but like the hardest part of the last couple of months has been being so sick that I can't play with Sage or feel like I'm a mom to Sage. Like um, there was a lot of just like us cuddling on the couch or me having to explain to her that like mommy doesn't feel good. And I just felt like a broken record. I'd always be like, oh Sagey, mommy doesn't feel good right now. Um, you know, you wanna read a book, you wanna come cuddle. I feel like the first trimester was literally just me being on the couch. There was times I just couldn't get up. I felt like I was couch bound and if I moved too much, it would cause more nausea and I just wanted to be still. I just felt like this overwhelming seasickness feeling, always on the verge of throwing up. So I would just be really mindful of if I was moving around too fast because I didn't want to throw up what I just got down finally. And it's hard too because I feel like during the last few months, like daddy's become the favorite, which is like totally fine because I want him to be like, <laughs> I want like her to obviously love both of us and and have that strong connection with both of us. Especially like, I, I haven't talked about it yet, but like I've also like weaned breastfeeding. I'm gonna do a whole other video on that, but going through like weaning breastfeeding and having her always want me for like milk and stuff. You know, every time Matt would leave the room or leave the house, she would instantly just say like, daddy, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? I want daddy. And like, I would just feel like, totally rejected which is so silly like I love the fact that like I can leave the house and and she is totally fine with just it being dad and like he can put her to bed and like it's really like she's good with either one of us but I think I just took it to heart more when she would ask for daddy and like just like be crying for him and I would be trying to console her and not feeling my greatest and he's just become the more fun parent and because he is but like it's just been a hard transition for me because I just felt like I was failing as a parent because she would be like wanting something and I'd be so tired and so sick I don't know how um single parents do it like I, I don't I don't I just commend you because it is hard when you're sick as a parent and it is really hard when you're sick and pregnant and um, just all the emotional things. But the low energy was super extreme. Like there were days that I just felt like I could sleep all day every day and I would still be tired. Even simple movements like walking up and down the stairs, getting something from the kitchen. Like I would just be so tired all the time. And I don't know if it's cause like I was still breastfeeding and just not getting enough like energy and fuel from, from food because I just was having issues keeping food down. Um, but just even like taking Cashew for a walk around the block, I would be exhausted. Like I felt like I could only 
do a couple things for like a couple of hours and then I was done, like on the couch, horizontal for the rest of the day. I've slowly now been getting my energy back. I definitely feel like I could use a nap uh, around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. The the energy, like whoo, this pregnancy could be because I have a toddler that uses up my energy when I do have it. Um, but yeah, just a very different than the first experience. So anytime I did have a little bit of energy, I really made it a point to um, you know, play and spend time with Sage. I know these years go really quickly and I'm just trying to absorb it and not let it pass by too quickly. Also, if you already have little ones and you're looking for some easy, healthy recipes to make for them and help create an adventurous eater that doesn't just eat bland beige food, because I know that is a huge struggle, um, definitely check out the Baby Health Nut ebook. I will have a link down below. It is filled with over 30 baby and parent approved recipes from when you're first starting solids into toddler land. And there's just so many delicious recipes that we still cook out of today that Sage loves, like the pancakes made with coconut flour are so easy. They're made in like two seconds. Um, there's these like peanut butter coconut cookies. There's a birthday cake in there made with all natural ingredients and sweeteners. Smoothies, popsicles, there's something for every child. I know you guys are gonna love it. There's so many five-star rating reviews already on it. So thank you so much for those who have already purchased a copy. I'm currently working on the second edition. So we're gonna be shooting photos for that in the next couple of weeks, which I'm excited about. And that way I can get it out to you guys. And you guys can start cooking from that one as well. Cause I know I have eager parents like constantly DMing me on Instagram and stuff. Like when is this book coming out? I need these recipes stat. Things that I did that I wouldn't say like cured my nausea by any means, but just kind of took the edge off. Ginger capsules. Um, also I would use these if I had like any headaches or anything as like a natural remedy as opposed to like, um, like pharmacy uh, drugs. C bands, I'm not wearing them right now, but I still sometimes wear them here and there. Um, those are great. They kind of do like an acupressure thing and they really help with that seasickness feeling. I would honestly just wear them every day, all day, where I had like imprints from the little like button on them. Uh, but I highly recommend those. I also did try some homeopathic uh, medicine for nausea here and there. Um, ginger tea, I would just like slice up raw ginger, put it in with some boiling water. Not eating and drinking at the same time, separate the two. Also just making sure that my stomach wasn't empty for too long. So eating every couple of hours. Electrolytes, I would just sprinkle some of that in my water throughout the day, that really helped. Ice water with lemon, like a little bit of citrus, really helps with nausea. I know this is a common one, B6. Also don't know if it did anything, but I've been taking that as well. On days that I was able to even swallow pills and supplements, there was many days where I felt guilty because I couldn't take my prenatals. Um, but I've been getting back onto it. And then also freezies. <laughs> I have these like organic, no added sugar freezies that I love and they're ones that Sage eats too. But um, anytime I would throw up, I would have a freezy and it would just help settle my stomach for a bit. And they've just been like a lifesaver throughout my whole pregnancy so far. Go freezies. <laughs> Okay, lots of things in terms of skin. I've definitely noticed my skin has just been a little bit more congested. I've had like random breakouts. It's now getting better, but in my first trimester, I was like, what is happening to my skin? Not only did I feel like crap, but my skin was just looking so dull and congested, probably because I wasn't on my skincare regimen. That could have been it too, or because I wasn't eating well. I don't know what it was, but my skin was like, Ugh, not having it. It's now finally starting to calm down, but like I definitely had some like big breakouts, like even on my back and stuff. I have ones that are healing still. With Sage, I felt like my skin and my hair and my nails were like, glowing and living their best life. This time I don't feel like that's the case. I have to like really work on keeping things together. Okay, so food cravings. <laughs> I didn't really crave any junk food and stuff with Sage. It was more like fresh fruit, yogurt, cheese, cucumber, hummus, like just a lot of fresh ingredients and stuff. With this pregnancy, it's been the total, total opposite. I'm like, I don't want smoothies. Like now I'm back into smoothies, but for the longest time I couldn't think of eating a vegetable. The only thing I want to eat was poutine and I ate my fair share of poutine. So I'm pretty sure this baby is mostly poutine right now at this point. 
I also, I'd say a weird food craving of mine was egg salad, like late at night. I would be making egg salad at like 11 p.m. as a midnight snack, and it just helped fill my stomach up until the morning because late night hunger was a huge thing that was disrupting my sleep. Otherwise, I was sleeping great. I would keep waking up at four in the morning and my stomach was so hungry, like just growling, and nothing I would eat would would calm it down unless it was like a protein rich food. Um, so that's why I would eat the egg salad. But like if I just woke up and had some pretzels, it, that wouldn't do the trick. It would had to be like some, I would sometimes eat these like pepperoni sticks. It's like it had to be protein or my stomach was just like not having it. I would say that my diet consisted of like blueberries. I did like melon. I did eat pretzels, but they weren't my favorite. I felt like I haven't really been like a munchies person this time. Annie's mac and cheese, always a good staple. Cream cheese bagels. I would order double toasted, double cream cheese from Tim Hortons all the time. Peanut butter and jelly toast with some hemp hearts in the morning poutine, extra gravy on the side. There were a couple times I craved like random stuff like Swiss chalet, which I haven't eaten in years. Uh, Taco Bell, like I had the most random cravings for fast food that I never had before. And that was like the only thing I could keep down. It was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh, like I need some veggies. And all my body wanted was stuff that came from a fast food joint. It was really hard for me to actually get in protein because I haven't really been liking to eat like chicken or salmon or anything. So I've been doing a lot of protein shakes. When I was really nauseous, I would literally just shake up water and protein powder and drink that down maybe twice a day. That helped rice, oatmeal and sometimes i was able to eat eggs the only way i would do that is hard boiled or my lemon cottage eggs which the recipe is on my blog it's so good the lemon in them just makes them taste really creamy and delicious and like not have that like strong egg egg smell or taste if you haven't had them definitely try them let's talk body changes this pregnancy i feel like i've been feeling so like insecure about my body i feel like i know why and you hear it a lot but like with your second pregnancy you know you start to show a lot of people will say you start to show really quickly so this is obviously my second pregnancy and i only have the first to compare it to and i remember like i didn't even announce i was pregnant until five and a half months and i was just it was easier to hide it i just didn't feel like i showed very early on this time i showed so quickly like i feel like by the time i was 13 weeks i i just looked like i was <laughs> very pregnant and even now at 16 weeks i feel like i look 20 weeks pregnant and I feel like it's kind of messed with my mind a bit because I think, oh, is it something I'm doing wrong? Am I not exercising enough? Am I not eating healthy? Is it the poutine that I've been, you know, surviving off of? Probably. It's just made me feel like guilty and like wanting to like hide my bum and just not feeling fully confident with my body. And it's just been a very interesting experience um, because I feel like with Sage, I was so excited, like, oh my God, is there a bump? Is there a bump? And like, I just wanted to, like, I couldn't wait to show it off. And like this time I like go to the gym and I'm like wearing baggy t-shirts and I just almost feel embarrassed that I'm showing so early on, which is so silly. Cause I can even tell this pregnancy, like I'm uh, caring differently. I feel like I'm caring lower and like, it's just um, protruding more like in the lower uterus part where like, I felt like Sage was like, I don't know, I felt like she was just so high. And I just wanted to touch on it. Cause I know it's something that a lot of women go through, you know, it's, a lot of changes mentally and emotionally. I just think it's so silly that I, yeah, I've been feeling like that. And even just like having people say, oh wow, like I see your bump. I just feel so like insecure about it. I'm like, oh, don't, don't look at my body. Don't even like talk about it. I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. It's almost like I feel like I need to be 20 weeks in order to, you know, look like I'm pregnant. I've weighed myself a couple times. And I just felt like, oh, like I already weigh that much. Like. I don't think I weighed that much yet with Sage. Like I'm just comparing the two and I realize like it's been kind of an unhealthy comparison. So I'm, I'm just like stopping that. And you know, I'm really trying to focus on just like starting to incorporate some veggies and smoothies into my diet. Not because I think I'm gaining weight too quickly or anything, but just because I know that's what makes me feel better. And I'm actually starting to crave those things again. And also just starting to move my body, which has helped so much on the mental side of just not feeling like a blob on the couch, but moving my body, I've started to go to the gym 
and just really taking it at my own pace. In my first trimester, I didn't work out at all. Even just walking was really hard, where with Sage, I was walking like so much every day because it really helped with my mental state. And this time I'm just like, I don't want to walk. I don't want to move. I just want to lay on the couch. So I just feel like it's been a lot less movement this pregnancy, but I'm getting back into it and craving that movement. Actually, one of the moms at the gym I go to made me feel so much better. And I don't know if she even knows this, but she was like, you know, it was the first day back at the gym. She was like, oh, both my pregnancies, I didn't work out and I ate fast food like all the time, which just made me feel better that, you know, you can have these ex expectations when you're pregnant, like, oh, I'm gonna eat so healthy, I'm gonna work out and be fit. But really like when you're not feeling good and the only thing you can eat is drive through poutine, like that's what you gotta do. So I just think it's, um, it's easy for us to be hard on ourselves. So I've just been trying to give myself, you know, more grace and, just permission to rest. Just know that growing a baby is a lot. Doing it when you already have a baby is a lot. Just giving myself a little bit more grace and patience is what I need right now. In terms of my mental health um, this time, I talked about some of it in my Finding Out I'm Pregnant video. Um, I had a lot of anxiety when I was pregnant with Sage. There was a lot of unknown. It was a scary time when I was pregnant with her. So this time around, it's been very different. I've also done a lot of emotional work and stuff leading up to getting pregnant with our second and I've really felt more at peace with this pregnancy, less scared. There's definitely times where those feelings pop up but it's different. Maybe the nausea has just taken my focus away. But now that the nausea is subsiding, I feel like I'm you know, feeling a little bit more like myself, my energy's coming back. Not as quickly as it did with Sage, but I felt like as soon as I hit my second trimester, my nausea was gone, I had so much energy, I was feeling like me again. It's definitely been slower this time around. I'm also older than when I was pregnant with Sage. Every pregnancy is so different, but my mental health has been at a much better state um, this time around. And I also have more tools in my tool belt to help me when I do feel off or I'm anxious. I just wanna end this with, if you are currently watching this and you are pregnant, maybe in your first trimester, um, not having such a great time, I want you to know that you will get through this. You will feel like you again. Everything passes eventually and it's not forever. Um, I know for me, I spent a lot of time <laughs> this first trimester crying and feeling sorry for myself. And I just thought, nope, I'm gonna feel like this the entire time, but it, it does get better. Like even just me sitting down to film this video, there's no way I could have done that a few weeks ago. Like I just didn't have any energy to do anything. And you know, slowly but surely your body adjusts and you start to feel better and you will feel like you again. And I'm just sending so much love and support your way because I know it's a lot. <laughs> like, it's a lot and, you know, a lot of people have it worse than I've had it so far. Um, you know, some people are, are in bed their whole pregnancy and I can't even imagine what that is like. So um, every pregnancy is so different. Be Give yourself patience and love and um, just know that your body is doing a crazy thing and don't ever take that lightly or feel like you're complaining or that you're not doing enough because you are laying on the couch eating pretzels and ice cream. Um, you are growing life and that is a huge job. So just remind yourself of that. And what's really helped me with this pregnancy is just looking at Sage and seeing this little person that I grew in my body and birthed and reminding myself that this is all worth it and that you know this little baby in my belly is going to be another sagey you know and another a part of our life and that's really what's helped me through some dark times during this pregnancy is just like looking at sage and thinking like I would, I would do this again and again and again for her. I have to say this pregnancy has been so different that I really do feel like it's a boy. Um, I'm happy with boy or girl. Like honestly, I just want a healthy baby. Like both Matt and I, like we really don't care. But I just think it's a boy because it's been so different and my cravings have been really different. But we're just excited to go through the process again, even though it feels really overwhelming to like go through birth and postpartum and like the newborn stage again. But I'm just taking it one week at a time and I'm just so grateful that I'm starting to see the light and starting to feel better 
and that I get to finally share all this exciting news with you guys and just bring you guys along on the journey. I have so much content on my first pregnancy. Like I said, I'll have a playlist that I'll link down below and up here. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Subscribe if you aren't already. Stay tuned for lots of baby and motherhood content this year because I feel like when you're pregnant, it's like all you talk about. So thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.